Welcome to our new podcast, y'all. My name is Ania. And I'm Hunter. And on this podcast, we just basically, we want to have conversations as a couple, give our opinions on different yeah. topics. Conversation between us to give us a chance to bond and just give um, you guys things to listen to. And There's a lot of negati- negativity, so this is something positive we wanted to do, you know. What's negative? <laughs> If you're here, thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on our video today. Please like, share, and um, support. This is our very first one, so, you know, we're going to get better with time. Yes. Before we get into anything, I want to ask you, what is one goal that you have for the year? Well, one goal I have for 2024 is just I want to come into myself this year. I really want to just, um, I don't know. I really just want to come into myself this year, whether it be financially, mm-hmm. um, who I am as a person, um, I guess you could say my top goal is not really a goal. It's just I want to take action. Okay. I feel like a lot of people we have do what these, you say. Like yeah. if you say something, you want to put yourself to and actually yeah. do it. Yeah. Yep. I feel like a lot of people just they have these goals and there's no action behind it. Yeah. Like I don't want to set goals. I just want to action. Just put the work in. That's good. If you had one goal, what would it be? Um, I just want to stay consistent with everything that I do, whether it's. Um, small things, little things, I want to be consistent. Like, for example, my skincare routine, I want to be consistent, not be lazy. Um, shooting videos and content, be consistent. Just setting routines and being consistent. I just want to, because consistency, consistency takes you a long way and you never know where definitely. just you being consistent is going to take you. So I definitely want to impact being consistent. Okay, that was a good one. Yep. That was a good one. Mm-hmm. Consistent. Yep. Can I keep you to that? Yeah. Okay. Even okay. even the sex, just like be a little whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> be consistent because you honestly never know where it'll take you. So, so action and consistency mm-hmm. is yeah. key. Yeah. So that brings us into the, our topic of this video. Resetting as yeah, resetting, resetting in twenty twenty four as a couple. Yeah. So, Do you want um, me to start? Yeah, baby, we'll start. Well, first you want to evaluate everything that you did in twenty twenty three. Right and see if there's like progression Mm -hmm. or what you lack and stuff like that as a couple and and as as an individual just like because in order for you to thrive and grow as a couple you have to thrive and grow within yourself as an individual so just definitely taking a step back and looking at both pictures both as an individual and a couple and see where you like and And where you can do better and improve and stuff i just feel like you have to just see where you lack that in Mm -hmm. 2023 and then just try to fix those mistakes. Well, not mistakes, but just try to fix where you lack and try to grow more in 24. Right, right, right. And like I said in the beginning, it's just putting action behind it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, I also feel like um, just having an understanding with your partner, like being on the same level um, as your partner. Me and Hunter have been together for, what, five years? Like five, five years, years, yeah. And I feel like in the beginning, yeah, we was on the same level. Then we had a kid and um, we moved together and things got a little rocky sometimes. Yep. But as long as I feel like you and your partner are on a mutual understanding and agreement and uh, could communicate, then you can reset and continue to elevate and continue to grow in any aspect of your life or your relationship or whatever. I just feel like communication and just being on the same yeah. understandment as your partner goes a long way also because i feel like me and hunter we are from different backgrounds we're from different cultures we yeah, grew up she's differently from new york and i'm from baltimore yeah so, so we have a it's... lot of differences a lot of differences yeah but we still make it work mm-hmm. um and like she said it's just communication it's like because every year you're a different person right so it's like i have to figure out who she is this year not mm-hmm. saying like you know she's just growing differently in different areas yeah. and i'm growing so, like, communication is very important. And also, I feel like we had got this game. I think it was called, um, what was the game? What game? The questions? The question game. We got it from Icebreakers. Walmart. Yeah, icebreakers. We got icebreakers. it from Walmart. Didn't think nothing of it. So, we got it and we played it one night outside on the patio. And and I feel like I like we were asking each other questions that we never asked before. And it just, like, kind yeah. of made me unravel another layer of hunter to be able to un- understand him a little yeah. bit better a little bit more and i thought the game was really interesting and really funny because like it was funny to see some of the things some that of the you reactions and some of the stuff that you did that your yeah. partner like you think you know somebody exactly. but you really like like damn i never asked her that question yeah like, that was new exactly because you don't really think to ask that question maybe because you're afraid of the answer or like yeah, yeah. i don't know but it was interesting yeah. and it was like he wasn't afraid to tell me you know right. like so I feel like that was cool that you wasn't afraid to like hold back 
and that made me yeah. understand you a little bit more. So. And it's always good just to be open. Yeah, I feel for like sure. if you open, then it's like it could be no misunderstanding because mm-hmm. I already told you whether it's like what I want to do in life mm-hmm. or what's lacking yeah. or stuff like that. I just feel like just be open in 2024. Like first, just work on yourself yeah. and then work on your relationship. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you you have to work on both in yeah. 2024. And then it's like also resetting and elevating in 20 in the next year like let's say hunter has a goal and i have a goal it's like or let's say a business goal or something we kind of have to pick and choose what we want to focus on at a time because we both want to elevate but we both can't elevate at the same time so if hunter has a goal i'm gonna put my stuff just not on, like not on a whole, but just I'm gonna like step back and help him get to where he needs to be, so that eventually he can help me get to where I need to be. So it's about team yeah. working team and work. just like I said, like I said, being on the same page and like just yeah. wanting to grow and wanting to get to the next level. You have yeah. to want it. You cannot yeah. just and think put the that, action, put yeah. the action behind it, and just be open. Like have have that conversation. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think are some setbacks that may help? That may prevent you from trying to reset as a couple in 2024 some re some setbacks in 2024 i just well setbacks is just like or roadblocks or something that may well first of all the economy everything is high as hell right now Mm -hmm. but it's just like making yourself aware of things that you're doing you know like one of the things is just like spending it's like where you're spending so much money you don't realize how much you're spending mm-hmm. so like this year that was one of my goals is like instead of just being like okay babe go get that okay let's let's do that okay let's just do that saying yes to everything or you know not even really like thinking thinking about it you know just being more careful about like spending mm-hmm. being more careful about like where yeah. like my time mm-hmm. my time is a big one like okay if you want to do this i have to have time for myself and right. stuff like that it's just time spending um I what about like, you i feel like because we have a kid and because we are so far away from like family not far but like far enough sometimes we lack or uh don't get that quality time with just us two because honor is always around us we don't really have anybody and then we have to watch. our goals yeah, like she's so- doing what she want to do i'm doing what i want to do and then we got a kid so it's just like you can get caught up in that in that everyday life that's yeah. why sometimes you just need to step back step and back. just look at everything. Yeah, oh, yeah. And yeah. I really can't do that unless I have, like, peace and quiet. That's what I'll be trying to tell you. Like, that other they had left for, like, a week last week, like, New Year's. I had the most peaceful, the most peaceful <laughs> week. Like, I was able to reset. I she was, was able peaceful, to but she was texting me. Boy, I was not. About, oh, babe, I miss you. <laughs> no, yeah, you was. Don't lie I mean, on the you camera. Was, you were saying the same damn thing. Yeah. Somebody said it to me first, so. <laughs> I got the receipt. What anyway. would be like, what would be something that you want to fix in 2024? That I want to fix? I definitely want to fix, like, getting so upset or, or irritated so quickly. Like, I feel like I, I don't have a short temper, but I have a short irritating, like, yeah, you get irritated. Fast. I get irritated very fast, and I really want to work on it. I really want to be more patient and understanding. Yeah, um, like we could be going to the store, and she's like, "This person won't drive fast enough." I'm like, "No, we ain't not in a rush. Like, it's not a rush. Listen, we just I'm take from, our time. We won't get there." I'm from New York. Okay, everything is a rush. Okay, <laughs> let's go, let's go. But yeah, I definitely want to be like patience. more patient. Patience. I feel like I'm patient with honor, but I just definitely want to be more patient with like you. Cause you can get like really irritated. Like you don't mean to, but I just think it's like some things that just be like. Cause you're easy to mess with. That's yes, <laughs> and he enjoys messing with me, and I'm just like, bruh, really? I like agitate. I'm an agitate. Yes, person. you and yeah. honor. Yeah. What about you? Well, one thing that I want to fix this year. I just I feel like I'm doing everything well. I just feel like I just want to put more action behind my words. Like, not saying I don't do what I say I'm going to do. It's just, like, I don't know. I just feel like it's time to really just put the work in. Like, I feel like... What you mean people, by work in? Like, like working, people, like, business? Like, or just, like, in general? Whether it's business, my relationship with you, my relationship with Honor, is just, like, I don't know. I just feel like 
people get stuck in like this trends and it's like we don't even realize that we going to work coming home yeah we doing this and that but it's just like it could be so much more like mm -hmm. i feel like i don't it know i feel like can, life is just like can be so much more you know? especially because i feel like we're still young yeah and and that's how you get stressed like we still, I mean, not granted, we're supposed to be saving, we're supposed to be like, we're like getting ready for a family, you know, settling down. But it's like, there's more to life. And I feel like for so long, the ideal way of living or the the way our parents live and grandparents live was like, work a nine to five, get your, um, your. And that shit is not cutting it. What's um, that word? Um, you retire it, whatever. Like, 401k, your yeah, retirement. Yeah, it's like, In I don't want to do that. In 2024, yeah, I don't, like. It's, and that's what's crazy. Like, that's what they, like, my parents preached to me, like, oh, Hannah, make sure you go to school, make sure you get a good job. Mm -hmm. And it is like, the more, like, I graduated and the more, like, I'm working in the corporate world, it's just like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, like, for a long time. It's like, I want to. Maybe at my job, like, like, oh, yeah, because you get your 401k. You get your 401k. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm looking at them, like, yeah, I'll be going next year. I'm trying to touch an M. I'm trying to touch an M soon. <laughs> like, right. But it's just like, you just have to create the plan and just, you know, put action behind it. But yeah, y'all, that's just um, a few things that we had to say about uh, just resetting in yeah. 2024 as a couple, as an individual, and just being mindful of things that's, that's helping you and hindering you to reset. Yeah. So. Just the things that you're lacking, work on, mm -hmm. and then set new goals in 2024, and just try to evaluate yourself. Yeah. Y'all watch this video. Thank y'all for watching. Like, we really appreciate it. Um, this is our very first video, so please subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, like and share this video. Yes, and stay tuned um, next week for our vlog. We'll be posting the podcast every other week and the vlogs every consistency. other week. Yes. Consistency. Yes. Then I say consistency at the beginning of the video. Yeah, so. consistency. And we put in action, so we're going to be dropping. Yep. So All right. see y'all later. See y'all later.